Hey, I'm almost ready, guys. Sorry. Thanks for your patience. All right. So let's start lying down. So go ahead and slide down on your back. And if you want to, you're more than welcome to just kind of stretch a little bit. So it might feel good. Reach your arms long overhead, full body stretch. Maybe you want to hug your knees in, kind of give your knees a big squeeze. So anything that would feel good. And then choose to rest for a moment, either with your feet together, knees apart or with your feet apart, knees together. So either of those variations, whichever would feel better for you. And then bring one hand to your heart space, one hand to your low belly. Close your eyes. And let's begin with three rounds of what's called the Loma breath. So it's a three-part inhale, first into our low belly, then our mid abdomen, then our chest, shoulders, upper back. And then we'll exhale slowly for 10 seconds. So start by just exhaling, letting go of your breath wherever you're at. And inhale first, just into low belly, low back. Pause. Take that same breath up into your mid ribs, mid abdomen. Pause. And then move it all the way up into your chest, shoulders, upper back. Hold at the top. And slow release for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, just like that. Inhale, low belly, low back. Mid ribs, mid back, side body. And then fill up as big as you possibly can. Hold. Slowly let it go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way to emptiness. We'll take one more round like that. Low belly, low back. Mid ribs, mid back. And then fill up as big as you possibly can. Take that moment at the top. Pause. And slowly exhale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great big huge in-breath. And then just open your mouth and sigh it out. Ah. Start to drop into ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. See if you can still feel your breath move all the way down into your belly. So every time you inhale, your belly expands. Every time you exhale, your belly draws down towards the ground. So be right here for a moment, just connecting to your breath, finding your own internal rhythm, feeling all that space that you can create just by breathing really big and deep. As you are ready, keep your breath moving and flowing just like this and draw both of your knees in towards your belly. Just kind of take a little rock from side to side for a moment. Give your low back a little massage against the ground. And then eventually let both of your knees fall over to your right side, left arm out to the left. And if you need to, you can kind of scoot your hips around a little bit. See if you can let your shoulders be nice and open, square towards the ceiling. And feel your big deep breaths move all the way down into your belly. Take about three more rounds, slow, steady, all the way to empty with each exhalation. And then end of your next exhale, bring your knees back to center and just set your feet on the ground for a moment with your knees bent. 
extend your right leg straight up towards the ceiling, flex your toes, bring your outer right ankle to the top of your left thigh, so supine pigeon pose. You might stay right here and just kind of work your right knee forward with the strength in your right leg or even use your hand to gently press your right knee forward. If you want, you can lift your left foot and grab hold behind your left thigh. Draw in with your arm strength. With a little bit of resistance with your legs so your spine stays nice and neutral rather than rounding. If you want, you can kind of rock a little bit from side to side. Keep the flexion in your toes to keep your ankle nice and strong. Take a couple more deep breaths. Good job. If you are holding on to your left leg, set your left foot back down on the ground and then extend your right leg one more time straight up towards the ceiling. Keep flexing your toes back. Lead with your heel. Slowly lower your right leg all, all the way down. Once your right leg is just resting down, take your left leg out next to it, arms overhead, full body stretch. And notice as you reach, if your ribs lift a lot, and see if you can press your back ribs down even just a little bit. So feel into a more neutral spine as you reach long. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, draw both knees in towards your belly and gently rock for a moment from side to side. And then from here, we'll move into a supine spinal twist with our knees over to the left. So whenever you're ready, just let your knees fall to the left, right arm out to the right. Make any adjustments you need to. Big, spacious breaths down into your belly. All the way to empty with each exhale. Make sure your face is soft and relaxed. Your jaw is unclenched. Your breath is still slow and spacious. One last round on this side. And then come back to center. Bring your feet to the ground with your knees bent. Extend your left leg straight up towards the ceiling and flex your toes back towards your shin, even your little baby pinky toe if you can. Outer left ankle, top of right thigh. So create a figure four with your legs. Stay here if this feels like enough. If this feels difficult, stay right here. If you want more, lift your right foot up. Spread your hands to that little figure four in your legs and grab hold behind your right thigh. Try to keep a neutral spine as much as you can. So back of your head, backs of your shoulders, and the backs of your hips. Tailbone, draw it down. You know, rock it out a little bit. Focus on your big deep breath. Good job, you guys. Last couple. And if you are holding on to your right leg, set it back down, right foot to the ground. Everybody extend your left leg straight up one more time. Flex your toes, press up through your heel. One more in breath. As you exhale, slowly lower your left leg down. Keep it straight and strong as you lower it. And then once your left leg is resting down, right leg comes out next to it, slides out next to it, arms overhead, full body stretch. Again, notice if your front ribs lift, try to press your back ribs down. One more big, huge inhale, reach through fingers, through toes, press down through your back ribs and exhale, draw your knees towards your belly. Take a couple little rocks from side to side. And then you can find your own way up to hands and knees, or you can come with me. You can rock and roll a few times, 
forward and back along your spine. And then after a few rocks, a few rolls, just rock up, cross your ankles, roll over your feet, bring your hands to the ground in front of you. So you might have to kind of crawl back a little bit, get nice and centered on your mat. And then once you're in your tabletop, let's take some cat cows. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And on an inhale, lift your heart, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone behind you. As you exhale, round your spine, curl in. So really push down into your fingertips, hollow out your belly. Inhale, come back into that back bend position. Your heart is opening, your front ribs are spreading. And then exhale, curl in. Maybe close your eyes, take one more each direction, just at your own breath, really feeling into that mobility in your spine. See if you can feel the mobility in your mid-back. Eventually, just come back to a neutral spine position. And from here, bring your knees out nice and wide, at least hips width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. Take your right arm out to the right and then reach it all the way up to the sky. Inhale. Very nice. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath you. So reach through. Come down to rest on the outside of your shoulder, outside of your head. Yeah, and then big, deep breath into your back body. So see if you can especially feel your breath in between your shoulder blades, your back ribs, all the way down into low back. Soften through your face and your jaw. Take about two more rounds here. If you happen to have your left hand lifted off the ground, bring it back down. And then on an inhale, unthread your right arm. Reach it out and up one more time. See if you can reach a little higher than before. Right hand comes down. Downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. Take a moment just to walk out your dog, to stretch and to lengthen. So feeling all that length from fingertips up to sit bones. Maybe you want to bend your knees or maybe you want to work your legs towards straight. You can be together, hips with distance apart or even mat with distance apart. So whatever feels best in your body. Take about two more rounds in your down dog. Soften through your face, let your neck relax. One last big inhale, maybe lift your hips a little bit higher, lengthen your side bodies, your spinal column. Exhale, gently bring your knees back to the ground. We'll move into our thread the needle pose with our left arm. So left arm out to the left and all the way up to the sky. Breathe in. As you exhale, thread it through. So reach, 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 come down to rest. Outside of shoulder, outside of head. And you can work it however you want to on this side. does not have to be what you did on the other side. Big, deep breaths. You can make little tiny micro adjustments. Just kind of feel around. See if there's any more space you can find. Space you didn't even know was there. A couple more rounds. Good job, friends. If you do happen to have your right hand lifted, bring it back down. And then on an inhalation, unthread your left arm. Reach it out and up. Exhale to set your left hand on the ground. Downward facing dog pose. Take a great big inhalation into your down dog. As you exhale, look to the top of your face and however you want to get there, forward fold, top of your yoga mat. Hang out in your fold for a few rounds of breath. So maybe a rag dog, grab opposite elbows, maybe a little bounce or sway or bob. Take your last couple of breaths and see if you can really let your head be heavy, let your neck relax. Breathe into the backs of your legs. Next time you breathe in, 
find a halfway lift position. So spine parallel to the ground. Feel the rounding out of your back. Exhale, fold. And then this time we'll rise all the way up. So come through your halfway lift and keep rising. Arms reach up, stretch tall. Hands to heart as you exhale. Very nice flow with your breath. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, take your dive down slowly with your breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bow and fold. Root through your feet, all the way back up to stand. Arms to the sky, stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. Let's do one more round just like that. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, dive down. Inhale, spine parallel to the ground, halfway lift. And release, come back into your fold, empty out in your breath, lead with your heart, rise, arms to the sky, big stretch, inhale, and hands to heart center, exhale. All right, friends, this time inhale, arms reach up, as you exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. If that is not available to you, you can grab opposite elbows instead. Roll your shoulders back and down. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine. Maybe start to reach your hands back behind you. Notice if you're pressing your ribs forward and see if you can knit your front ribs together. A little tone in your belly. Take one more big inhale. Keep your clasp and then exhale. Hinge at your hips to get all the way down into your full you can bend your knees a lot. You can bring your feet out really wide if that feels a little bit better. Try to bring your weight more into your toes and the balls of your feet less in your heels. So lift your butt up as high as you can. Let your neck relax. Lift your knuckles up as high as you can. Feel that stretch in the front of your shoulders. One more inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to your low back and release. Let your arms hang down. You can shake them out nice and easy. Halfway lift position, breathe and realign. Exhale, plant your hands, feet to the back of your yoga mat, plank pose. Inhale at the top of your push up and exhale all the way down to your belly. All right, pause here on your belly, turn your head to the left and reach your right arm out to the right with your palm facing the ground. Roll up onto your right side for shoulder pigeon. Your left foot can come down behind you or your left foot might stay out in front of you. Try to keep your head relaxed on the ground. Yeah, good. And then focus on your deep breaths. If you want to, you can take your left arm up towards the sky and then back behind you. Forearm across your low back, or like you're trying to get the backs of your hands to touch one another. Soft through your face. Take about five more rounds here. Good job, you guys. As you are ready, start to ease your way back onto your belly and just turn your head the other direction for a moment. Kind of rock your hips or shimmy your hips side to side. Breathe down into your low back. And then in your own time, work into your pigeon, or excuse me, your shoulder pigeon on the left side. So left arm eventually will extend straight out to the left, palm faces the ground, and roll up onto your left side. You might do the exact same thing you did on the right, or you might try something else, a different variation. Maybe this side feels a lot tighter, a lot more open. So just honor whatever you feel in your body. Try to relax your head on the ground. Big, deep breath.
breathe all the way down so can you still feel your belly expand with each inhale all the way to empty ah, letting go with each exhale kind of melt around the pose think about three more Good job, you guys. And then just nice and easy, roll back onto your belly. For a moment, turn your head the other way. And just like you did before, kind of shimmy your hips, rock your, your hips side to side. You can bring your arms down by your sides if you want to, or just wherever feels good. Bring your hands to frame your mid ribs. Turn your forehead towards the ground. And as you inhale, use the strength in your back body to lift your heart just a little bit. So you're not using your arm strength, you're using your back strength. Roll your shoulders back and down, point your elbow tip straight back and see if you can press down more through your shoelaces and your pelvis. With your hands, imagine you're trying to drag yourself forward. So pull back. Gaze down. So feel the length in the back of your neck. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Bring your hands out wide to frame your yoga mat and lift up to your fingertips. Elbows face the sky. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, let it go. And then this time, hands frame your mid ribs. Just press up to a tabletop position, hands and knee. From hands and knees, we'll move into a modified side plank. So pivot on your right knee. Your right foot comes out like a little cake stand. And then left leg reaches back. Left arm reaches up. We find a modified mm. side plank. Yeah, very nice. Try not to stick your butt out behind you. But instead, see if you can press your hips forward. And then maybe float your left foot off the ground. Maybe reach your left arm forward, bicep next to your ear. This is a great place to stay. Final option, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Rather than kicking your foot up, kick your foot back and see if you can let your heart look up. Breathe all the way down into your low belly. Yes, yeah, so nice. Take one more round. Good job, you guys. Slowly let go. Come back to your hands and your knees. Bring your knees together. Walk both hands off the right side of your yoga mat. Reach your hips back into the left. Take a couple of breaths into your left side. And then just switch it up. So hands come through center. Off the left side of your yoga mat, same thing. Hips back into the right. Breathe into that length of your right side. Once you feel pretty much even, back to center. Find tabletop, downward facing dog. Big deep breath. Inhale your right leg to the sky and open up your hips. So bend your knee, reach your knee out to the right and then up towards the ceiling. So you can feel that nice stretch through your hips and your groin. Take one more big, big inhale. Exhale. See if you can get your right foot all the way up to the top of your mat. If you can't get it quite there, get as far as you can and then help it up. Once you are in a low lunge position, hands to the inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot out off the edge of your mat so it's on the carpet. Bring your back knee down. Untuck your back toes and see if you can let your hips move towards the ground. Lift up to your fingertips and imagine you're doing cobra with your heart. So see if you can lift your heart. So hips move forward and down. Heart lifts up. This feels like too much at any time. You can bring your hips back, come back in when you're ready. So see if you can take big, deep breaths. Yeah, maybe even walk your hands forward. Come down to your forearms if you want. Try to encourage your weight over to the right rather than collapsing to your left. 
Take about two more great big, huge breaths. Really nice, you guys. All right, if you're not already on your hands, come back up to your hands. And then bring your right foot back to midline so you're framing it. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Standing splits, left leg floats up. We're not going to hold it super long. Root into your right foot. Lift your left leg high. See if you can spread your left toes. One more big inhale. Forward fold. Set your left foot down next to right. Maybe give your right leg a nice little shake out. Bring your big toes to touch. Little gap in between your heels. If this is too much for your knees, you can stay in your forward fold. Otherwise, tiny little potato bug ball. So butt towards the ground. Nose towards your knee. If you want to, you can even wrap your arms around the fronts of your shins. Give yourself a big squeeze. Take one more great big deep breath. Halfway lift, heels down, spine long. Maybe widen your stance. Exhale, fold and bow. Press into your feet, lead with your heart, rise all the way up, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, inhale, take your arms up. And then as you exhale, side body stretch to your right. You can make it your own. So maybe right hand to right hip for a little support. Or if there's another variation, please feel free to take it. Root down firmly into left foot. Breathe into your left side. One more breath. Good job. Back through center. Both arms to the sky. Realign. And then over to your left as you exhale. So more weight in your right foot, like a crescent moon shape with your body. See if you can feel the strength in your left side abdominals, those oblique muscles. Pop through your face. Bend your breath down your right side, last round. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, slow dive all the way down. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Inhale at the top of your push-up, push the ground away. Exhale to slowly lower. Back bend of your choice, so lift your heart. You can stay a little longer if you'd like, take a couple breaths. And then eventually tabletop hands and knees. So from your hands and knees, moving into a modified side plank on the left side this time. So pivot on your left knee, reach your right leg back, and then right arm up. Yeah. Right foot can be on the ground, or you might float your right leg up. Make it strong and powerful. Yeah, maybe right arm forward, bicep next to your ear, and lengthen through your right side. Final option, only if you want to take it, bend your right knee, reach back and grab hold of your foot. Once you've got it, gentle leverage. Kick foot in the hand, pull a hand back in the foot. You can let your heart look up towards the sky wherever you are at. That's your pose. Be there. Breathe into it. Last round. Good. Slowly release. Come back to hands and knees. Tabletop. Knees come together. Walk your hands off the left long edge of your mat. Reach your hips back into the right. Press your right armpit towards the ground. Breathe into your right side. And then as you're ready, just switch it up. Hands come through center. Walk them off the right side of your yoga mat. Sit your hips back into the left. Press your left armpit down. Your left armpit won't touch the ground, but that's the intention. That's the action you're creating. One more deep breath here. Good work. Come back to center. Table top. Downward facing dog. All right. Ujjayi breath. So can you still feel it? Can you still hear it? Inhale your left leg to the sky. Peel your left hip open. Bend your left knee. Reach it out and up. Be here for a moment. Get that nice stretch, that opening in the front of your left hip. Maybe you feel it in your groin. Hug in with your right inner thigh. One more inhale. Exhale. Step your left foot to the top of your mat. It's like you're stepping over something. If you couldn't get your left foot all the way up, 
Then help it up. Hands to the inside of left foot. Walk your left foot out wide, even onto the carpet. Bring your back knee down. Untuck your back toes. And see if you can let your hips move forward and down as your heart lifts up. Try not to collapse over to your right side. So encourage your weight. The left. Heart lift. Hips lower. If you want to, you can walk your hands forward a bit or come down to your forearms. Just really focus on encouraging weight to the left rather than collapsing over to the right. Feel into that sensation in your hips and just let it be there. Breathe into it. Soften around it. Relax through your face. Open mouth size if you want. About two more. Good job, you guys. If you're not already up on your hands, find your way there. And then bring your left foot back to midline. Lift your back knee off the ground. Listen. This time, we're going to bring both of our hands all the way over to the right long edge of our mat. Parallel our feet. Straighten our legs. Yes. So you're in a wide-legged straddle position. Inhale to a halfway lift. Lengthen. And then whenever you're ready, just either work into your fold or work this in your own way. Explore and play if you'd like. About five deep breaths. If you want last big breath here, big open mouth side. Ah. Come back to your halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground, bend your knees if needed. Crawl your hands to the front of your space, come back into a low lunge, root into your left foot, standing splits, right leg floats up. We won't hold it super long. Lift your right leg as high as you can. See if you can even get your toes to spread. Relax your neck like you're in a forward fold. One more in breath. Forward fold. Right foot comes down. You can give your left leg a little shake out. Kind of pedal out your heel. Big toes touch. Little gap in between your heels. Stay in your forward fold if this is too much on your knees. But otherwise, tiny little potato bug ball. You can stay in your potato bug ball, or if you want a balance challenge, turn it into a toe stand. So squeeze your inner heels, inner knees, inner thighs. If you can point your knees straight forward. Bouncing on your tiptoes, hands to heart. Soft through your face. Take one more deep breath. Halfway lift, heels down, spine long. Adjust your stance if you want. Widen your feet. Fold in. Exhale. Press into your feet and rise. Big full body stretch. Inhale. And the heart. Exhale. For just a moment, breath to movement flow. Inhale. Reach up and stretch. Side body stretch of your choice to your right. Hips go left. Through center. Inhale. Other side, exhale, up and over. Back to center, breathe in. Listen, little baby back bend. Practice your arms, curl open, squeeze the bottom tips of shoulder blades. Inhale, re-extend, realign. And then stick your butt out, reach your heart forward all the way down. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa your way, or skip it. See you back in down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Pigeon toes, right shin to the top of your space. Set your body down gently. If you'd rather take this in a seat or on your back, for whatever reason, totally fine with me. Pull your right hip back and up. So like we do in our forward fold, we stick our butt out. 
or I should say when we're diving forward, we stick our butt out, reach our heart forward, and then fold in. Big deep breaths if you want to go deeper at any point. See if you can just scoot your back knee back a little bit further. Right knee is towards the outer right edge of your mat. job you guys take about four or five more breaths visualize your breath moving down into your right hip One last big inhalation. If you would like big, huge open mouth sigh. <sighs> you can find your own way back to down dog or you can come with me. So I'm going to lift my upper body, plant my hands, tuck my back toes, and then I'm going to push into the ground, take my right leg back and up, give it a nice little shake out. Option only if you want to, only if it will serve you to flip your dog as a counter pose, counter stretch. The right foot sits down behind. You might take a couple of breaths in your back bend. Eventually, my friends, everybody downward facing dog and just walk it out. Inhale, left leg high. Pigeon pose, left shin comes forward, body comes down gently. Left hip pulls back as your heart goes forward and down. Left knee towards the outer left edge of your yoga mat. Focus on your breath as big as you can. Where else in your mind? Come back, feel your body, feel your breath. About four more. And if you want, last big, huge inhale, fill up as big as you can. See, there's even an extra little sip you can find. And then open your mouth and big sigh. Ah. Find your own way back to down dog or again, invitation to come with me. So lift your upper body. Plant your hands, tuck your back toes. And then push down and take your left leg back and up. Gently shake it out. And if you want to, option to flip your dog as a counter pose on this side. Say however long you want in your back bend. And then everybody downward facing dog, walk it out. You can take a vinyasa, end up in a child's pose, or you can just bring your knees down and sit back into a child's pose.
Take a couple grounding breaths in child's pose. Rise up to hands and knees. Come into a seat first. Legs out in front of you. And then with your legs extended forward, make sure you have plenty of space behind you. Reach your arms forward. See if you can lower down slowly. Hollow out your belly. So navel the spine. Squeeze your legs together. And one vertebra at a time. Try not to let your legs lift if they do that. It's okay. Ugh. Once you get all the way down, full body stretch, just like we did before. Arms long, legs long. Press your back ribs down as you reach. One more inhale. Exhale, feet to the ground with knees bent, arms down by your side, setting up for a bridge pose. The so feet are about hips width distance apart. All of your toes face forward and your ankles, your heels come straight down from your knee. As you exhale, pull your belly button down, scoop your tailbone up. And then as you inhale, peel your spine off your mount one vertebra at a time. When you get to the top of your bridge, you might work your shoulders underneath you as well. Get a little more opening in the front of your heart. Maybe even interlace your fingers. As you hold your bridge, press into your heels and the inner edges of your feet especially. Hug in with your inner thighs. And imagine you're trying to reach your knees forward, away from your upper body. Press down through the back of your head. Take about three more deep breaths here. Stay in your bridge, but if you have your fingers interlaced or your shoulders underneath you, work them out from under you slowly. Stay in your bridge, reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling. One more inhale, lift your hips a little bit higher, hug in with your inner thighs. Exhale, slowly set your spine back down one vertebra at a time. Once you're back in a neutral spine position, tee out your arms or cactus your arms against the ground. Bring your feet mat width distance apart, so just a little bit wider. And then inhale here. You can just relax your arms down. Exhale, knees fall over to your right. Press your left knee forward and down especially, so lengthening through your left side. Inhale through center. Exhale, knees to the left. Work your right knee forward and down. Try to press your back right ribs down. Don't let them lift a lot. Inhale through center. Go back and forth a few more times at your own pace. Lower you go, the more you notice, the more you feel. Good job, friend. And then after one or two more rounds, happy baby pose. Use your happy baby to kind of traction out your spine. Maybe rock it out. Maybe extend one leg and then the other leg. And then from your happy baby, just like we did at the very, very beginning of our practice, you choose feet together, knees apart or feet apart, knees together, and bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Exhale all the way to empty. Inhale, low belly, low back. Mid ribs, mid back. Chest, shoulders, upper back. Low exhale, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Two more just like that. Low belly, low back. 
mid ribs, mid back, side body. All the way up as full as you can become. Let it go slowly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last time, low belly, low back. Mid ribs, mid back, mid abdomen. All the way up. Full as you can get. And let it go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Big, huge inhale. And great big falling out breath. Open your mouth. Ah. You can stay here for the remainder of our practice for your Shavasana. Or if you want to, you can take any finishing movements, poses, any final stretches, get any final wiggles out. And then come into your final relaxation. So that can be the traditional corpse pose. Or maybe you want to roll over onto your side, find a fetal position. Maybe you want to take a belly down, Shavasana. So anything is welcome as long as you can relax there. And then give yourself these last few moments to really just do nothing. So let yourself have time and space to just relax, to just let go, not to do anything, fix anything, control anything. And allow yourself to really just be and to observe whatever is flowing through you. Shavasana.
take a deep breath in. And let it go. And just start to slowly wiggle through fingers, toes, and gentle movement back into your body. Maybe even give yourself a little jaw massage or temple massage, forehead massage. And roll onto either side, fetal position. Take just a moment resting there, curling into yourself, letting your practice really soak in. And then use the strength in your arms to guide you, guide your body up into seated meditation. So for one last moment, just sit up nice and tall. And you want to move your head a little bit or roll your shoulders around a little bit. Eventually, hands to heart. And close your eyes. Bow your head to your heart. And just acknowledge yourself for taking time out of your busy day to slow down enough to feel, to notice to connect with a deeper part of you. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. Okie dokie, friends. Good job. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyone join us? No. Mm -hmm.